Well, South Australian police could be just weeks away from a major cold case breakthrough after an historic bill was introduced to federal parliament. Two decades after the murder of an Adelaide school teacher in Southeast Asia, it, will, it would allow detectives to travel overseas and arrest their only suspect. A moment this family has been working towards for 21 years. We think that this bill being passed can give us a very good chance of having justice for Anthea. Anthea Bradshaw Hall was stabbed to death in a Brunei apartment in 1994, but the 26-year-old's killer has escaped arrest because local police say they have insufficient evidence and South Australian police have no power to prosecute the overseas crime. That, however, would change under a new amendment to the Criminal Code Act introduced to Parliament this morning. It's an important day, it's a very emotional day for the Bradshaws uh, because it is are going to allow some closure in their case. Anthea's husband, Jeff Hall, who was living in Brunei with the school teacher when she was murdered, now lives in Tokyo and works as an executive for Toshiba. I'm going to be talking about our new Pure Vision detector. Nine News has attempted to contact Mr Hall without success. In 2004, South Australian police took the unusual step of sending a detective to Brunei to investigate the murder. It's believed that they do have evidence that could see an arrest warrant issued by the end of this year. We have a substantial uh, a portfolio of information that we'll act on if we have the opportunity to do so if those laws are changed. We're taking things step by step. So at the moment we're looking forward to the bill being passed um, and then we'll look into what happens after that. Ben Avery, Nine News.